the Galaxy S25 Ultra is expected to launch next year in January, keeping in mind Samsung's timeline. It will debut with Android 15-based One UI 7. It can run on either the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 or Exynos 2500 processor, depending on the region. So the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra will debut with Android 15-based One UI 7. So you will get more AI features too, this includes V2 of Google's Gemini Nano. This is a mobile optimized language model that enhances AI-driven functions like Circle to Search, Photo Assist, and Live Translate. Further, rumors suggest that satellite connectivity could finally arrive on the S25 Ultra. This will allow emergency texts via satellite mode in Samsung's messaging apps. Samsung's Galaxy S25 Ultra can feature a slightly larger 6.9-inch screen and a new flat-sided design, making it lighter and more refined than previous models. It can run on either the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 or Exynos 2500 processor, depending on the region. The storage options might remain the same, but the RAM will see a boost, with the 512GB and 1TB models receiving 16GB of RAM. For batteries, we might get to see a 5000 mAh battery and 45W, just like last time. On the camera front, not a lot of upgrades are expected. It can pack a 200MP main sensor, 10MP3X optical zoom, and 50MP5X optical zoom cameras, this remains unchanged. The only confirmed upgrade is an enhanced ultra-wide angle sensor. After the iPhone 16 launch, all attention has now shifted to the Android flagships. People are waiting to see how they will stand against it. The rumors and leaks for the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra have already started doing rounds, along with its other brother Galaxy S25 and Galaxy S25 Plus. The device is expected to launch next year in January, keeping in mind Samsung's timeline.